this one a little acceleration. Nice. That's puts what it a, does. Puts a smile on our Just face. Just smooth, yeah. Just smooth. Smooth, easy power. Nice. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Minneapolis in the suburbs, and I'm here with Randy Geyer, and we've got a great Finn car for you. Randy, what year make and model is this one? This is a 1958 Dodge Regal Lancer. And there weren't many of these. Only 1163, all of them hard tops. <laughs> You're gonna like this one. But let's talk about your shirt. Got fins, if you could turn that around. We have the Regal Lancer we're gonna see, 1958. And show me the winner's shirt. Well, this is, a, I, I like to wear the t-shirt during the car show and then in the evening at the uh, events award uh, banquet, then I made a little more formal shirt. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice that I actually had sewn into the shirt the actual fabric from the seats from the car that we'll see in a little bit. How cool is that? Show me the back of that shirt, too. It has Regal Lancer and Dodge. And the back has, well... The Lancer. The Lancer emblem with the Lance. And speaking of that, let's go right to our featured attraction. That car has quite the face. There is a lot going on there. You've got chrome. You've got bumpers. You've got badges. You've got jets. There's nothing missing on the front of this car, and they threw it all on there. So I'll take my time, start with our emblem, move up to our script Dodge, which is nicely pronounced. Then you have the dual jets, as if one wasn't enough, why not two? And then the headlights have a lot going on there too. You've got this nice, looks like stainless slash chrome, this bumper with a turn signal in it. And then this massive chunk of bumper on the base. Toothy bumper. Toothy bumper. You might notice also that this car has competed and won the highest level awards that are offered by the AACA. Wow. It is a senior grand national winner as well as a national winner. Wow. Those are different awards. Wow, how did you uh, feel getting those? Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that one brings out the nice shirts. Yeah, that'd be, uh, you gotta have a nice shirt for that bank. That, that will be the nice shirt. Well, I'll start you off close with the Regal Lancer and the great mirror on there. You can see there's a lot going on in the design of that mirror. And these mirrors, you have to move by hand, correct? Yeah, I do. So you gotta reach all the way around. You have this nice chrome piece there. This wonderful windshield that you can see the tint up here in the top right there. And then let me step back. Before I do that though, then you have your great hubcap here. Let me even stand back just a bit. The wraparound bumper there. And then it starts with the one of two black strips. And I move back. You can see they go, the first one that's on the front fender goes all the way to the back and then right behind the front door on the quarter you can see the second one jumps in with more chrome. So if we didn't have enough chrome and stainless up here it then flows through the door. We have this great door handle which I'll get to in a second. Then this big chrome piece here and more chrome all the way down to the back with the Lancer here. By the way Lou, right now would be a good time to mention that this car was a springtime edition in 58. So they didn't start producing this until I believe it was either February or March. It was only available in, they called it bronze, bronze and black, or cream and bronze. That's it, so you could take those three colors and make four possible combinations. This was it. And then look, you've got this big piece here, and that's not the reverse light, because if you come back here with these fins, you can see those there like so. And I'll just give you that quarter to take a moment to meditate on. That quarter panel is tremendous. And even these big chrome <coughs> exhaust tips. You know, it kind of takes some time to focus on there. And then these chrome pieces here with this chrome here like so. 
and the word Dodge scripted here and our push button shrunk. So let's uh, let's open this, shall we? If we pull that and pop that, you can see the big gas filler, the tire and the rack and the and the block there. And as we go here, we have this brochure announcing a distinctive new model, the Sweeping Wing 58 by Dodge. And this opens up the fabulous new Lancer, and then it opens up like so. And there's your cream Lancer, and of course the woman with her hand up going, just check this out. And he's proudly looking on as he should. And it talks about the finest of the swept wing 58s. And there's your color car right there. Well, this, this car will make you put your hand on your chin, that's for sure. And if we flip this over, you can see how that pieces together like so. Then we have our swept wing 58 Dodge, the guide to adventure. We'll kind of go through this just a bit. Meaning a start, the design of 58, the temperature control, aids to happy motoring. We won't go through all of it, but we'll get a flavor of it. Again, the car temp, power assist. Sure grip differential in case you're in your off-roading mode. Your radio group, your accessories, the maintenance aid. And this one here, you can see pieces together. Now, Randy, where did this car come from? I mean, where did you find this? Well, originally this is an Arizona car. Okay. And it was collected by a fellow Jess Ruffalo of... Uh, in Wisconsin. He had quite a, a, a fleet of restored Dodges and Chryslers and stuff like that, a, an older collector guy that uh, I think he got sick and he was getting close to the end of his life. Uh, this would have been in about 2008 and he was selling off most of his collection at Barrett Jackson. Okay. I went to Barrett Jackson. I didn't know anything about this car or really very much about him. Or, and I just, it came across the block and it looked like a neat car to me. So I bid on it and I bought it. <laughs> and, and now there's a story to that too, because once you got this car, kind of what happened to your collection? Well, then I started kind of going in the direction of Chrysler cars because I started learning about them and I started meeting some of the Chrysler people because this is such a rare and unusual car. People started contacting me and, you know, and wanted to know about me and why and all these kind of things. And then my life just kind of started going in that car collecting direction was collecting Chryslers because I, I thought I was going to collect Chevys, but... So this car kind of, I'll call it, puts you on the map. It kind of did, yeah. yeah. Got everything started. What a great car. All right, we'll close this. We'll make sure. It'll click easily. Just like that. Minnesota Collector. May I open it? You sure can. Thank you. We've got this great hard top look there, obviously, with no bar. And as we open this up, Look at that door. First of all, if I look to you from the side, you could see that armrest sticking out, but it's very smooth. As you can see, it almost looks kind of like a Jaguar in here. And then you have this amazing carpet, which flows through here, which has these speckles and stars, which is just fantastic. When we straighten this out, I want to show you that right there. So here you are at Garrett Jackson, and you make a bid, and you, you liked it, and now you own it. So what happened then? I mean, did you, when you actually went down to see it, was there a different kind of change in mentality, or like, holy cow, this is really cool? Or? Uh, yeah, I, 
it, it was something I never planned, and I kind of didn't know what to think. I didn't really know what it was, to tell you the truth. Yeah. And I just went down, you know, they pulled it off the stage and pulled it down into the wherever they parked it, and I went and found it and looked it over and tried to figure out what I bought. <laughs> but I thought, well, I know it looks pretty neat. <laughs> yeah. I did pretty well this day. Yeah. And just as we show the back seat and all that, I want to jump in here to show you've got that Lancer emblem there. All right. And this great pattern on the seats. I mean, there's a lot going on there. And the, you can see how sparkling the carpet is all the way here. The seats has the gold sparkles in it, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's Hollywood looking. It is very Hollywood looking. And then you've got this great gauge cluster here. I'll try to get that there. Get a little bit of that light out of there so you can see that. There we go. You have your mirror, which has a mode on there. And then what I like is they, they put not only the instrumentation up top, and is that is that uh, speedometer kind of goes up by tens? Yeah, it does, and we'll, it's a ribbon speedometer again, yeah. We'll feature that when we drive it. Great horn. But I like all of the gauges so nicely set, and the clock. The easy to figure out buttons, the word Dodge nicely posted there for your ashtray. This is your heater down here, I'm taking it? Yes, it is. Okay, heater. And then the clock. And Randy, one of the things that's really great about your cars is that you're literally like driving a brand new car and it takes you right back to that time frame. And even on the sun visors, and I'll get out of the car so you can see that, the sun visors have this design in them. And they're padded and thick. That was part of the upscale thing about the Regal Lancer. The allure of this one. Well, let's, uh, let's open the hood on this one. All right, we'll pop the hood and take a look under here. Now that's a 350 big block. When I say 350, that's not a Chevy engine, that's a Chrysler engine. And they just made that engine for one year. Just this one year. It's a four barrel, and that was the standard offering in the Regal Lancer. The only other options on the Regal Lancer besides the color combination that I told you about is that you could get a D500 or Super D500, which meant that when you got a D500, you'd get a 361 with a four barrel. Oh, okay. And Super D500 would be the 361 with two four barrels. Got it. That's the only other options there was. Got it. Well, this one really, really looks good. Now, this here is part of the braking system, it looks like? Yeah, it's a, a, a vacuum canister, yes. Okay. All right. Can we start this one up? Sure. Can we turn the uh, step on the brakes for a moment? Come on, just for grins, put it in reverse, please. Wow, okay, a lot coming at you. All right, let's put it back in neutral. I just want to listen to that idle. Go ahead, give it a little bit of a rev. That's smooth. Feels like you're sweeping right along. Wonderful. Well, Randy, let's uh, let's take this one for a ride. Let's do it. So here we are riding in the 1958 Dodge Regal Lancer. How many of these are still around? You think? I don't know how many around. Precious few, but there was 1163 originally made. Which isn't many. That's not really very many. Yeah. No. I just want to show the roof line in this car too. And look out that back window, see those tails. This is just a really cool ride. Now this is a big award winner. 
And the funny part about it is, as you said, you kind of just accidentally purchased it. But uh, what's the reaction when you're taking this to shows now? Oh, it's a big attention getter. People are really drawn to the copper and black and and all the chrome strips up and down the sides and yeah it's pretty heavily adorned so it gets people's attention all right <laughs> yeah there is nothing I, I can see the engineers back in that time and the stylists going okay now the bumper we need to make that bigger okay now we need dodge across the hood did anybody put a badge on it we need some bigger bumpers and Couple, no, how about one jet on the hood? Just a big jet? No, no. How about two jets? Yeah, one jet just wasn't enough. How about two jets when we're rolling down the road? <laughs> how about mirrors on both sides in case you didn't have them? Unbelievable. At one point, uh, Chrysler was calling the fins on the back stable, rear stabilizers. And I can't help but wonder, maybe they were thinking when they put the twin jets on the front that that would help to stabilize the front or something. Yeah, I there don't know. you go. <laughs> that, that might have been the answer. Could have got the double stabilization there. Some stable in the front, some stable in the back. Now everything's stable. Just showing people a little bit of this ride. What a, what a grand car. I mean, massive in presence, massive in style and color and chrome. It's really jaw-dropping. I mean, this is one of those cars from the 50s that... 58 was just a real interesting year where the designers were just... There was no holding back on the chrome and the, the piling it on and, you know... That's true. It seems like 58 or 59 is when they just went crazy with slathering on chrome everywhere. Yeah. Another great example is the Buick uh, Limited, you know, from 58. Yeah. Holy cow, there's chrome pieces for no reason, just other yeah. than to have chrome pieces. <laughs> I have one of those on the channel. So if people want to go to the YouTube channel, just type in the word, my car story with Luke, chrome king. And uh, that, that gets you there. But this one uh, does it pretty well also. This man. one's not too shabby, it's right there definitely has a spot for you and what a great car Randy we're gonna take this one a little bit more for a cruise and uh, I just had two guys drive by on bikes and just almost fell off and they're like whoa so what a treat so much fun to be with you as usual thanks for being on my car story thank you Lou I appreciate it it's always a pleasure